Well, RTV6 is working for you and your safety right now as the city of Columbus is fixing a crosswalk years after a student was hit by a truck while walking to the bus stop there. Jalen Lee was rushed to the hospital back in 2013. His attorneys filed a lawsuit saying the city and school district should have taken steps to make that crosswalk safer. Call 6 investigates Kara Kenny has been digging through the court documents and working to get answers from the city tonight. Kara. That's right, Jason. A judge actually threw out that lawsuit. And Indiana law says a judge can throw out a lawsuit involving a government entity if the victim is at least 1% at fault for their injuries. Well, Call 6 investigates dug through court documents and found the city knew the crosswalk was dangerous and had even secured the money to fix it before Lee was hit. This is what the crosswalk looked like on Mar Road near Columbus East High School on March 11, 2013, when Jalen Lee was walking to his bus stop. Lee was wearing dark clothing and was hit by a pickup truck. He suffered a broken leg, broken ribs, and a punctured lung. Documents obtained by Call 6 Investigates show a year before Lee was hit in 2012, INDOT approved pedestrian crossing improvements, $400,000 in federal funding, including money to fix Mar Road. The city of Columbus engineer admits it's taking longer than anticipated. We have to understand this isn't a grant where we just get a check all of a sudden saying, you know, go ahead and do these things. It was federal funding that was approved. But in order to get that federal funding, you've got to put together design plans. Uh, you've got to go through an environmental process. Um, there, there are a lot of lot of steps that you have to go through, and there there were some delays in the process, um, most of which were external to the city. But uh, there there were things that happened that that just slowed the process down more than than we had hoped. This is what the crosswalk looks like now signage improvements, pavement markings, and the biggest improvement, flashing warning signs that are pedestrian activated. And Jalen Lee's attorneys point out the crosswalk is still not finished and that another student was hit in that same crosswalk back in 2011. The city says the crosswalk improvements are almost complete and they're looking forward to getting everything working. Jalen Lee's attorneys are appealing the judge's decision to throw out their lawsuit. Jason.